gay people, listen. Don't you let anyone judge you. If others tell you you're going to hell, quote Jesus by saying, Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Then say to them, Judge not, lest you be judged. We all have a cross to bear. We all are weak in at least one point of the law. Brother James said that if we break one point of the law, we're guilty of breaking all of it. The day is upon us. When two men are lying in a bed, one is taken, the other is left. Gay men, if you parade your sin, you're headed for serious trouble. That's how they behaved in the days of Lot. I'm not judging you. I'm trying to save you. If we know our lifestyle is wrong, we're broken about it, crying out to Jesus day and night for mercy, then we, my friends, are on the road to salvation. But go your way and sin no more. Everybody, both gay and straight, listen. <clears throat> if we don't slam the brakes right now on how we have sex on earth, adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, debauchery, God can judge. And once that happens, beloved, it'll be too late to get saved. Fifty years ago, society was united against gay marriage. If we don't correct and check our sex today, in 50 years from now, someone may fight to marry his animals or livestock and then lobby to force governments to approve of it. How do you feel about bestiality? As in recent times, you've said, love has no labels. I tell you, not all men are 100% masculine and not all women are 100% feminine. If you, as a guy, find yourself sexually attracted to masculinity, get the girl with the Adam's apple. <laughs> She's your type. Avoid going gay. I am the man of God. And I'm not always perfect. Telling you about your sins won't make mine go away. So repent, repent, repent. The kingdom of heaven is within you.